A long time ago, I went to Greece. I went actually. I went to Europe and uh, ended up in Greece in mm -hmm. Turkey. And uh, it's a long story. I'll give you the short version. Um, and it, anyway, I ended up playing there, um, and then ended up staying there and living there for a, a long time. So I, pl I played in a lot of the clubs in both Greece and Turkey. And one of the groups I played with um, were Greeks who were not from Greece originally. Uh, they came in uh, 1922 after the First World War, and they were actually from um, the Eastern Black Sea area of what's now Turkey, where Turkey meets Georgia. And they're called Pontic Greeks because Pontic is uh, the word for sea in Black Sea. And they don't speak modern Greek, they do now, but at the time they, um, they still speak uh, a version, it's somewhere between Ancient Greek and Byzantine mm -hmm. Greek. And it's sort of, um, it's really hard to, under I speak Greek and it's really hard to under understand it because it's all the old forms and the pronunciation is all different. And uh, they sort of consider themselves sort of the descendants of Jason and the Argonauts and, and the Byzantine Empire and they don't call themselves Greeks, they call themselves Romans. Um, because the Byzantine Empire is a made up word, it was actually the Eastern Roman Empire and that's what they call themselves. Um, and one of the things about the, uh, the Byzantine or Eastern Roman Empire is that they had border warriors. So the whole point was is you, um, you had a castle and you kept the area uh, free from whomever, whether it was uh, uh, Slavs or Arabs or, or Russians or whoever it was, and you kept it in the name of, of the Byzantine Emperor. but. Um, you know, you got to keep uh, everything you stole, and uh, but but if you lost it, uh, too bad. And, and, and uh, it was a pretty rough place, the border areas. And they, and, and they were called Akritas. Akritas means border warriors. And um, a poem was found of about ten thousand lines, about a hundred years, a little over a hundred years ago, and it was about. Um, um, an a Cretan warrior called Dionysocritus, and Dionysocritus uh, means twice-born warrior, a warrior, and his uh, mother was a Byzantine uh, uh, princess, and his father was um, uh, an Arabian emir, so it was of two worlds. And um, as it turns out, when they did research on it, it's actually the, the, the poem and the version we're going to do, um, without the words, um, <laughs> uh, is from about the 10th or 12th century, but the person who it's actually written about is from the 7th century. Um, uh, anyway, so the instrument is that instrument, which is called in Turkish Kemençe, or in Greek Lyra, and it's a traditional music of that area, and um, it's got a very archaic sound and a very sort of archaic way of, of playing and it's still played there um, and um, Alana wanted to learn it so I got her <laughs> Kemenche and she learned it. Anyway, we're going to do two tunes and their, their dances. Um, the way the dances work there uh, and they still happen now is a dance is about a half an hour long, they're line dances and you just keep, they're medleys and you just keep going. And what we're doing now, uh, the dance is called Dipat, which means two-step, uh, referring to the dance, not to the rhythm, because the rhythm is actually in 9-8. And then the dances, they start slowly, and then it sort of slowly yeah. speeds up until at the end. Yeah, and this is the slowest dance. Um, <laughs> it's not exactly slow, but they don't really have anything slow. And just as an aside, um, since they consider themselves descendants of Jason and the Ar Argonauts and the Golden Fleece and all of that, the Golden Fleece is actually true. Because what they do in Georgia, and they still do it now, is they take a sheep's fleece, and um, because it's a Caucasus Mountains, there's gold flecks running through the rivers. And they stretch the uh, fleece across the river and have the water go through, and it, and it collects the gold. And that's the Golden Fleece. So, Lee, just as an aside, this is way cool. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. 
can dance this one too. Yeah. <laughs> it's real dance. It's, it's very dance long. <laughs>